taking a look here at this. So as you said, and we appreciate you, Will Selva, talk to you soon. This is his snub. There's 13 quarterbacks on this year's list. Carson Wentz is not one of them. Kylie's in great shape. He's motivated. Will we see Carson Wentz take his game to another level? Yeah, I would think so. I want to. I think a lot of people don't. Carson Wentz is not incredibly popular, either amongst players, as it turns out, or amongst fans. About a month ago, we had a Deshaun Watson conversation and Carson Wentz came up. I said passionately that I think Wentz is actually better than Deshaun Watson. I love Deshaun, but I think I would take Wentz. It's a pretty reasonable take. It's not outlandish. It's not like I'm lobbing a grenade. Let's look at some of the responses to that when our show tweeted that take out. That I needed some humor this morning, found it. Five laughing emojis. Again, just that Wentz, I would take Wentz before Watson. Wentz is an excellent player. Look at this guy. Um, no he's not, not even close, sorry. So those are the people watching the show, pissed off about the Wentz take. Look at this, a first team all pro. Watson, cuz, period, from the Honey Badger. Listen, Carson Wentz is really good and he gets injured a lot. I love Deshaun, it's not about Deshaun. If he is strong and he is putting on weight and getting compliments for it and having his game together, be very careful disrespecting players whose only fault is they get injured at the beginning of their career. Because then we're talking about Matthew Stafford, we're talking about Fred Taylor, Grant Hill, Ken Griffey Jr., the, the list goes on and on. That's pretty much the only fault in Wentz's game is he runs into injuries, which the injury gods control. So disrespect him, don't put him on the list, say it's a joke that he's even in the same conversation with the immortal Deshaun Watson. Yes, stronger, healthier, I do expect great things, even if I'm the only one. You're not the only one, Kyle, and, and I'm not going to disrespect Carson. I'm man. Carson Wentz is talented. But, but listen, there's a lot of ifs. There's a lot of ifs. If he's healthy, if he's strong, if he plays 16 weeks, if ifs were fifths, we all be drunk, Kyle, okay? So let's just focus on what he can't control. If he goes out there and he plays with the guys that didn't play well last year, if he plays with a group of wide receivers that can put up 1,000 yards each, or at least a couple of them, if he plays with guys that don't have to carry the load like one tight end versus a group of wideouts who are banged up on the sideline, I do feel like this offense can finish in the top 10. They were the number 12th offense last year, so they can finish in the top 10. He can regain some of that respect, and more importantly, I think they can go for the crown in the NFC East. Let's not talk about the NFC East like it's all said and done. These guys were the champs. Let's respect them as such, and from what he had to work with towards the end of the season, I think he does deserve more respect. Now, to crack the top 10 of quarterbacks, that's not for me to say, but he's gonna have to do something this year and in the postseason to get that respect back. Hmm. It is it is an issue of respect, I think, because uh, Kyle, to your point, it feels like his peers don't respect. You saw what Turn Matthew said. How about the fact they voted Kyler Murray above him on the top 100 list? Kyler Murray mm -hmm. after one year in which they didn't come close to the playoffs. Carson Wentz, to Nate's point, threw his team on his back, won the final four games of the season, and did it with some second-tier players that were not the starting players in the lineup. But you know how the story ended. He got injured. Not his fault, again, for the... 20th time, not his fault, ends the season, not on the field. And I think that leaves a bad taste because you know what they say, your best quality is your availability. And when Carson Wentz goes down every season, it's hard for people to swallow the pill and say, yes, he's up there in the same conversation as Deshaun Watson, who goes out there and gets kicked in the eye and finds a way to finish games. I think it's going to be a really interesting season, but I do think there's Wentz fatigue. This is the fifth straight off season. I feel mm. like we're talking about Carson Wentz and whether he can do this thing.